The magic of Cardiff is this people. The passion of the people. People are devoted. And I believe that faith is completely different to the biggest study. They are constantly making jokes. They have this vivacious energy in Joie de Vivre. And that humor and life and energy is infused into the club. I love being part of that fandom that devotes their life for one club, no matter what. I'm Paco Leon Infante, founder of the first and for now only Cadiz Peña in the United States in San Diego, California. I'm originally from Córdoba, a town like three hours drive north of Cadiz. My mom is from Bejer de la Frontera, a town in Cadiz, and it was her brother and sister, my uncle and aunt, who got me into soccer. They capitalized on that niche and got me into this Cadiz spell. I'm Ben Harburg and I'm one of the three co-owners of Cadiz. I was living in Cadiz in the mid-1990s and I went to a few matches in, in, the, in that period so that was when Cadiz came on my radar. I was uh, I think 11 or 12 at the time and has been in my heart since then. Cadiz is a magical place. It is one of the southernmost points in Europe. It's this peninsula, this little strip of land connected to the mainland by just a, a couple bridges and a small strip of sand. We have you know, been controlled and had pieces of the Phoenicians, the Greeks, the Romans, the Moors. Uh, many empires passed through. It was also the, kind of the gateway to the new world. You get this combination of history and flavors and people, and, and then you marry that with football, which is the greatest addiction in the world, and you get just this incredible recipe for a tremendous location. Cadiz culture is strongly carnavali football. Cadiz has developed this duende, the art of turning life into a joke. You carry Cadiz's bad times with art and happiness and you enjoy the good times. The recent history of the club, you know, it's, it's not been a direct elevator up and down. It's been mostly down. You know, we've been as low as the third division, played a lot of seasons up in Segunda. We're promoted, obviously, up at the beginning of what was kind of became known as the COVID season. You know, we've been up now for four years. We've been re living on the relegation line. We've had all these marquee victories over the likes of Real Madrid and Barcelona and Atletico. And so we've had these moments of levity and excitement combined with a lot of challenges. We are balancing the fact that we've been playing in Segunda B and Segunda for the last 15 years to the fact that this is our fourth season in La Liga. We impose upon our fans a huge amount of pain with limited flickers of excitement. There's a humor that Cadiz has to, fans have to infuse themselves with to survive that kind of environment. The fans receive us in a very friendly way. When we travel, we have got these bright colors, big smiles. It ends up that there's a very nice kind of friendship and, and, and camaraderie that's built between us and many of the other clubs in La Liga. Cadiz doesn't have a natural enemy. Uh, we don't have a derby rival. Uh, and so as a result, uh, there's just a huge amount of sympathy for our, our fan and teams around the world. As soon as we got promoted, I was like, I cannot watch La Liga games at home alone. I was lucky enough to have Bluefoot close by. I walked up for just me and my t-shirt being like, where I have seen that you guys watch English games. Like, who do I need to talk to play one La Liga game? I just need one TV. And it was Rodney. Hi, my name is Rodney and I run the soccer at Bluefoot Bar and Lounge. We're in North Park, San Diego, California, and basically we're a soccer sports bar. So we obviously a lot of teams here from all the divisions in Europe, but we also have a big La Liga following as well, and that's how I met Paco, who, who is um, a Cadiz fan, and we show his games here every week as well. What Packle does with his energy and his excitement for the game, people ask questions, who is this team? They're being educated and now they're starting to, to follow him 
and follow the, the team Cardiff and people will come and sit with him and watch games. So it, it's, it's, it is a wonderful thing. My relationship with Rodney has gone from the director of sports at the bar that I go to that plays my game to a, a close friend. Ahí está, ahí tenemos conexión. Esto por para cuando tenga lag, la tele tenga lag, esto va más más rápido. He will always FaceTime his family who go to the games, especially the home games. I always jump on the FaceTime with Paco as well. Through like technology, I've met his whole family, which is quite a special thing. I love the passion; it's still there for me. So to see him displaying this, it, it just makes me happy. I think we mirror each other. I decided to start an official Peña and register it because I wanted that if some random person in the near future, Cadiz supporter, wanted to go watch a Cadiz game, I wanted to at least my hand be out for someone to be able to find us. Only way to do that properly is to found uh, a proper Peña. Yeah, we came to this bar one Sunday evening and we had a couple of drinks and we signed the, all the paperwork to become like a official Peña. And here we are today. Met this guy named Paco. Within 10 seconds of meeting him, he started telling me about his favorite football team and how I needed to become a supporter. I had never heard of the team before, but he is very uh, persuasive and persistent. He basically produced a document for me to sign that was like my official membership and I signed my life away. Now I come here at seven o'clock in the morning. One thing I didn't know at the time is that we were and still are the first and only Peña in the US. Makes me extremely proud to have been the one showing Americans what all this is all about. But it is funny living in the US and mentioning that you support Cadiz. Every time you run into a Salvadorian person, they will know Cadiz. And I, it's amazing to have that connection between a small city in Spain and a whole country in, in Central America because there's, there's, that, there's that relationship. They, they both share that love for, for Mexico. Mágico González es un gran referente salvadoreño con una historia imposible de olvidar. Pienso que el Mágico, no habrá otro Mágico. Mágico González, I think, is one of the best untold stories of world football. El Mágico, por lo que hacía con el balón, por ser lo que hacía en sí, era, era como un algo mágico que les hacía que se iba por un lado y aparecía por el otro, como un mágico. Se inició como a los 17 años en el, en el Deportivo Antel o Club Antel, era un equipo salvadoreño. Luego pasó al Independiente de San Vicente. Estuvo ahí un tiempo y de ahí le salió la contratación para el Club Deportivo FAS de Santa Ana. Y cuando ya se fue al Cádiz, y ya fue cuando empezó a brillar su estrella. Se convirtió en una estrella a brillar. Y ha sido el único, de los grandes, ha sido el único. Rather than playing for a big club, he stayed in Cadiz, where he could kind of be a big fish in a small pond and get away with a lot of his antics, which wouldn't have been tolerated in a bigger club, which included showing up late for training, uh, spending a lot of time on the beach drumming his guitar. There are, there's, there are all these crazy stories that are, that are around him. And I, someone once said about him, He's the richest man in the world because he just lives the way he wants to live. He lives on his own schedule, he dances to the beat of his own drum, and in many ways he mirrored the culture of Cadiz and the attitude of, of Garitanos through his um, kind of attitude towards life. Para mí, yo no sabía mucho, no sabía mucho del Cádiz, nomás pues ahí sí que fue nuevo para mí porque no, no tenía ninguna información del Cádiz, pero pero igual este, le deseamos lo mejor y, y que triunfara y sí, gracias a Dios, pues triunfó él en el fútbol de, del Cádiz. De ahí fue donde ya fuimos parte del Cádiz también. I love his story because it's such a line what 
Cadi 3%. He gave himself to the city. That's why people in Cadiz love Mahi Gonzalez. Not only for, for how of a magical player he was, but his persona outside the pitch. A legend, a legend in the new Mirandilla, Albert, but also a legend in the night spots of Cadiz. He was a bit of a party animal, wasn't he? Yeah, 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 yeah. Once there was this news of, of a new investor in the club, uh, we started researching, I don't know, who's this new guy? Suddenly the, the question came of why an, uh, a random American investor wants to be part of, of Cadiz Club. My wife encouraged me to stop being a fan and start sitting in the ownership box. So I wanted to be in Spain as an owner. I ran a systematic process. I called almost every club that you could actually buy into. I kind of called them and built a whole matrix and really tried to plot them out on a chart to kind of understand what was the best value for dollar in a very systematic process. And amazingly, Cadiz came up at the top of that, uh, that list. I, once I learned that he, he was American and he was he had this connection. I think it, it increased the, the pride I take in the, in the club. There's a special relationship between Cadiz the city and Cadiz the club. And having Ben know that, and not only know but grow that, is a great thing for the club and a great thing for the Peña in the US. I feel understood by him because it shows how when you support Cadiz, you don't care about the context you are or how far away you're from Cadiz. This is something that you carry around. Being an owner has caused me to love Cadiz more. And again, I've seen the people come out of the woodwork. I've seen their passion. I've received their messages. And these people that have passed Cadiz fandom down from you know, parents to children over generations, we are holding something that's so precious. We're custodians. We're not owners. We're custodians of something that's so precious. And if, if we don't manage it properly and care for it properly, um, that, that could end our relationship with the city and that, 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 that risk is, is terrifying. This season has been really challenging, um, but yeah, fan expectations uh, deservedly go up with success. Um, and so, you know, relegation is, you know, too painful a, a consideration to even ponder. Um, but, uh, but, but that's, you know, but that's always something that's in the back of our minds given our salary budget and where we sit. Safe Cardiff. 20 seconds remaining for Cardiff to try the miracle. But there is no more time for Cardiff. Las Palmas have achieved salvation, but Cardiff have got relegated to the second division. Cardiff will have to fight very hard to go back to La Liga EA Sports the following campaign. And this is a very tough moment for Cardiff, for the club, for the players, for the fans. But this is football. This doesn't stop. What does it mean to be a fan of Cadet? I feel that being a fan of Cadiz means more suffering, but it also means that you, A, will enjoy the victories more, and B, will be part of a community that has grown, leaving those sufferings and turning them into not only part of their life, but a happily part of their life. You have people that have been, quote unquote, suffering this team for so many years, and have found a way to make it enjoyable, 
it's something that I do not understand my life now without. For me, supporting Cardiff, it has this pride to it of carrying over what my late grandfather started. How could have my late grandfather expected that him supporting this club would end up in his grandson putting up a scarf on the other side of the planet? They're a tough team to be a fan of because the wins are rare, but that does not affect the support or enthusiasm for the team. Uh, I believe Cardiff should be your team. If you are someone that likes the underdog, someone that has this love of life and, and, and humor and energy around, around the club, um, someone that is fighting all the way to the end, so again, doesn't take anything for granted. I, and you combine all of this into this incredible mix of, of humor and culture and food and energy, you get just the recipe for most incredible club in the world. And so if you're looking for that, you'd be a fan of Cardiff. You're in for a bumpy ride but it's worth it. The Cadiz fans, I think when I first showed up on the scene, thought I was a meme or a bot. Uh, they didn't believe that I even existed. Uh, they would post these really funny pictures of, you know, a kind of a Google stock image, a Getty stock image of a guy and a family in a picket fence and say, this is Ben Harburg. 